Today, I learned about TaskyPy, which is something you can use inside of a pyproject.toml file that kind of turns it into a makefile, sort of. So what we're looking at here is the pyproject.toml file from the Altera library. I was doing a PR on that, and I couldn't help but notice that when you read the developer docs, that they want you to run these commands via this tool called TaskyPy, and it's pretty neat, actually. The way it works is you just have your toml configuration as you would normally, and you would point to a name, then equals, and then as a string, the command that needs to run after. So, you know, lint, that's definitely something that is configured. You can also do something like format, and you know, uh, no big surprise is there. And, you know, just as a quick demo, there's like lots of commands listed here. There's also uh, one that I've defined down below myself. So there's this print command that I made, right? And if you were now to go to the terminal, one thing you can do is you can type task L. It's going to pick up the pyproject.toml file. And as you can see, the print command here, that echo hello thing that I defined myself. So I should be able to type something like uh, task print and lo and behold, the task is indeed working. And what's kind of neat about this is that maybe you don't need a just file or a make file anymore. And that's actually kind of useful because a make file or a just file will assume that make and just are installed on the system. You can't always assume that on the Linux box in general, especially with just files. And even if you're dealing with make, if you're dealing with Windows, there might not be make either. So the thing that's really nice about this is by having it in your pyproject.toml file, the only thing you're assuming is that someone is working on a Python project, and that'll be the case. Now, in terms of features, it is pretty feature complete too. So if you wanted to chain commands together, one thing you could do is you could have a command like rough check, as you see over here. And what do you do? Well, you're first gonna call the lint task, which is this guy because that's defined as lint. And then you're gonna chain that with task format. So you can just define two of these commands together and you chain them like this and there you go. You've got this one command that is able to do both. There's also some settings that you can configure. So over here, you can see that there's a current working directory set. You can also do something like, uh, let's use some variables. The next thing you gotta do is actually specify a variable. So in this case, name equals Vincent, that's something you can do. And if I were now to uh, go down here, I can do something like hello name. And then this refers to the variable that I mentioned on top. And again, going back to the terminal, if I were now to do task print again, you're going to see it prints hello Vincent, no huge surprise. But there you go, you can also configure variables, that's actually super duper useful too. And another party trick that you can also pull off is you can also use this prefix. There's the pre underscore prefix and the post underscore prefix. And in this case, what you're saying is that this has to run before print. So you can say something like, hey, something beforehand and something afterwards. If I were now to run task print again, then you can see that need something is running beforehand and something is running afterwards. So if there's something in terms of setup or something in terms of post processing that you got to run, uh, that's something you can totally do. And as a final thing, that's maybe also good to mention is I can also append this with a string. So I could do something like echo uh, some more. And now you're going to see it actually does hello Vincent echo some more. The pre and post steps are being ignored here, but uh, what TaskyPy is assuming is that maybe you're running a command over here that still needs to accept some inputs. And in that case, the default behavior is just you append something to the end, and that's a way to maybe pass some extra arguments. So again, the default behavior would be, we're gonna run this as you would normally, but if any extra text appears here at the end, we're just gonna append that, and then that command will run. And when you do that, the uh, pre command and the post command are going to be ignored, which I do think is a good practice too. It allows you to uh, chain with the double ampersand if you like, but you're also able to be a little bit more manual and uh, bespoke about it. So that definitely feels like, you know, a pretty neat library. I can definitely see a couple of use cases for it. The only sort of two downsides that I do see with this, I, the first one's a bit of a nitpick, but sometimes you wanna have multi-line commands that you wanna automate. And you know, that's gonna be a little bit ugly here because you do have this particular config file behooves itself a little bit more to one liner. So, you know, doing multi-line stuff here is going to be a little bit painful maybe. So that is a bit of a downer. And I guess the other one is that I really like it if you have a make file around and you just do make install and it just the whole setup for you. And unfortunately, because this is a pyproject.toml file, you are now going to have to assume that maybe UV is installed beforehand already, or at least TaskyPy has to be installed already. And TaskyPy cannot install itself. So in some ways you remove the need to worry about the make file that that has to be installed and beforehand, but you introduce uh, the fact that TaskyPy has to be installed beforehand. So, you know, not necessarily a free lunch, but it does seem like a pretty flexible system. So uh, a lot of stuff to like if you are dealing with lots of these config files and you just want to move everything into a pyproject.toml file, just know with TaskyPy, you can actually uh, go quite far. It's, an, it's a neat library. I, I do like this.